Hello guys. Good day. I want to believe you guys are doing fine. This is chemistry and God. I want to believe your exams are going well. Uh, and I want to wish you tremendous success. For people doing biotic particle alternative B chemistry particle, there is nothing to worry about. This video is for you. So if you are doing chemistry biotic particle alternative B, that will be later this month. So I've seen the confidential report and luckily fortunately for you guys one of the sort analysis for the alternative B is one of the video I have done on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be posting the short video. Then check the link in the comment box section. I'm going to tag the link to the full video there so that I can watch it. I've already done that video. It's on my channel. But for people that are finding it difficult to locate the exact link to watch the full video so watch this short video then check the comment box section you see the full the link to the full video there i love you guys i love you guys wish you tremendous success thank you and god bless you if you have referred you to subscribe to this channel you can comment you can share to your friends okay because it will be beneficial to them so very quickly let's move to the qualitative analysis okay let's see how the question might look like this is just a practice question on how the question is going to look like. They said C is a simple sort. Carry out the following exercise on C. Record your observation and identify any classes involved. State the conclusion you draw from each of the results of each test. Okay, so before you start doing the test, before you start carrying out the experiment, you have the table already because these are where you are going to record what is the test they ask you to do. What have you observed? And what can you infer from your observation? I hope I'm making myself clear. What can you infer from your observation? Okay, so they said C is a simple sort. Carry out the following exercise on C. Record your observation and identify any gases ever. State the conclusion you draw from each of the results of each thing. So the first one, which is the AI now, please, very important. A Roman figure one, please. Number it the way they have numbered it in the question. Very, very important. You need to number it the way they have numbered it in the question. Put sample C. So this is sample C now. This will be labeled sample C. Okay. So say put sample C in a test tube and add about five centimeter cube of distilled water. That's the first instruction. So with the aid of my spatula, I will take my sample C. Okay. Go into my my test tube, you can use your boiling tube too. Anyone you have in your school, you can make do with that. Okay, so I, I've already done that. Put sample C in the test tube and add about five centimeter cube of distilled water. This distilled water, I can just measure about five centimeter cube. Okay, five centimeter, about five centimeter cube of distilled water. About five centimeter cube of distilled water. So, adding my water to it. Okay. The I said, add about five centimeters of it. Shake thoroughly. So they ask us to shake thoroughly because for every test you carry out, you must definitely observe something. Definitely. You must observe something. So they said we should shake thoroughly. Shake thoroughly. Okay. They said we should shake thoroughly. Shake thoroughly. Okay. Very important. Shake thoroughly. Okay, if you look at this, you see the salt is dissolving already. So let's see if it will completely dissolve in water. Let's see. Okay, let's see. It's dissolving already. I see that now. The salt is dissolving already. Oh, definitely, this is a soluble salt. In as much as it dissolves completely in water, okay, you have little lumps of the salt so if you shake thoroughly please take your time to actually do this if you look at this now you can see c has dissolved in water that's my observation so i noticed c dissolves completely in water which is what i add here so i can just leave it here like this then i record don't forget they said sample c put sample c in the test too so i can say sample c plus distilled water. Can we see that? So what did I observe? A C dissolves. C 
still dissolves completely in water. Okay, in distilled water. Let's put it in distilled water. Still dissolves completely in distilled water. Can we see that? So if still dissolves completely in distilled water, what can I infer from that? Very important. What can I infer? What's my inference? From the observation, it means C is a soluble salt. Can we see that? C is a soluble salt. Why? This by inference is a soluble salt because C dissolves completely in water. Okay, shake thoroughly and divide into two test tubes. That's the structure. It might be one test tube for you. You know, it can be two. So I can actually, I can actually. Divide into two, two test two like this. If I do three, and then I ask you not to divide it into two test two. So just follow the structure. To the first portion of sample C, add dilute HCl. Add HCl, that's the dilute HCl there. Identify any gas involved. Please pay attention to this. Very, very important. This is my dilute HCl. Okay? So add HCl. Please pay attention to this. On addition of HCl, look at that, dilute HCl. I'm adding to this now. Okay. Can you see this? Look at this. I can quickly test that with my litmus paper. Can you see that? Okay. Number one, what I observe is there is evaporescence. What's the meaning of evaporescence? Can you see that? That's the bubbling of liquid in, in, in gas. And that shows the evolution of gas, meaning a gas is being evolved. And I'm testing with my blue litmus paper. Can you see that now? Okay. So what can I infer from there? The first thing will be, the first thing will be, they said Roman figure 2 now. A, Roman figure 2, very important. Roman figure 2. We have sample C plus distilled water, okay? Plus what? Dilute HCl. So what is my observation? Number one, I notice what we call effervescence or core. Effervescence or core. Okay? And what is the meaning of effervescence? I've said that effervescence is the bubbling of, of liquid, in, in the bubbling of gas in liquid, and that represents the evolution of gas, meaning a gas is evolved. And I test the gas. With my blue litmus paper, can you see that it's changing into red? Okay, so evaporescence or core. Of course, the gas that is being evolved, if it has a particular odor, I will know. But because I'm perceiving it doesn't have any odor, okay? So we can say evaporescence or core, that's number one. And another one is what? And odorless and what? Odorless and colorless gas. And odorless and colorless gas. Evaporescence or core. And odorless and colorless gas. Okay. Don't our what? Our blue litmus paper red. Can we see that? Evaporescence or core. And odorless and colorless. And odorless and colorless gas. Okay, gas. Tons blue litmus paper red. 